Hello friends, air pollution is a big problem in Delhi NCR, isn't it? So I noticed some myths that are floating around everywhere which people actually follow and as a result it's leading to serious heart problems, health problems in them. So here are 9 myths that I'm going to share which if you end up following could end up hurting you or your family's health. The first myth is this pollution is temporary because electrical vehicles will come and no petrol vehicles would be there and all the pollution would come down. That's actually a myth. Because of the heavy weight of the batteries of electrical vehicles, the wear and tear from the tires is incre increasing the suspended particular matter. So that the particles of the rubber tires are going up because of the weight of the batteries. And because of electrical uh, vehicles, those particles get released in the air and actually are increasing the air pollution as well. And plus, the batteries are charged by thermal power plants, which means they are burning most of it and they are using coal to produce electricity. So unless the car is using solar energy, I think it will not lead to a substantial reduction in air pollution. Yes, electric vehicles are less polluting as compared to uh, petrol-based cars, but at the same time, electrical vehicles will not eliminate the, the air pollution in the, in the country right now. Secondly, on the topic of cars, people feel that if you keep your cars closed, I sit in my car, keep the windows closed, I'm okay, I'll be safe. No, actually what happens is, uh, the, when the car is, is parked overnight, there are a lot of fumes which get created from the air, from the seats, from the plastic, from the paneling. So it's very, very important that when you sit in the car, you open the windows for some time and then close the windows and then you operate your car, keeping, in, uh, keeping the settings to recirculation of the inside air only. Don't take the fresh air from outside because in these days of pollution. You can also install an, an air purifier for the car which is available online. Third myth that I hear also is that indoor air is safe. If I don't go out, I'm safe. That's incorrect. In fact, because of the uh, fumes coming from our perfumes, from uh, agarbattis, from furniture, from the wall paints, from the smoke of the cooking, the elevated carbon dioxide levels. In fact, it is said that the indoor air quality of our homes is actually two to five times more dangerous than outside air, even though it's, it looks clean. So what can you do about it? Keep your dusting with a wet cloth, uh, use exhaust extensively, uh, use air, you know, air purifiers, of course, goes without saying. So another myth that comes to is, if I keep, if I put plants in my house, I'll be safe. And that, that's enough. Again, a myth, because not all plants are safe. Some of them actually emit more carbon dioxide than oxygen. So here is a list of plants that you can, you can buy so that you to keep your family safe. But also keep in mind, if you don't uh, use these plants in conjunction with an air purifier, the dust and particulate matter will settle on the leaves of the, these plants and they will not be able to breathe properly. So use these plants in combination with an air purifier and clean the leaves at regular intervals. Another myth that people have is that I should not do any exercise this, this time of the year. That's again partially true. You should not do the ones which involve um, physical exertion, but breathing exercises which we are taught in yoga should be done. This is the best time to do breathing exercises because you, you are exercising and increasing your breathing power of your lungs. So, but do it inside, do it in a room which has been cleaned after using air purifier for about half an hour and then do the breathing exercises which are taught to us in yoga. Another myth that is there is that if I'm using air mask, uh, air mask outside, it should be okay. Again, a very, very common myth. I see a lot of people with surgical masks going around uh, on the streets. Yes, surgical masks is better than nothing. But again, you should go in for an N95 or an N99 mask. An N N95 means it cleans up to 95% of 2.5 particular matter. And N99 means it cleans up to 99% as well. And again, keep in mind that N95 and N99 should be certified. USA has a FIOSH and European Union has an FPP certification. So it should be certified by one of these organizations. Then only it's totally effective. Also keep in mind is when you're wearing a mask, there should not be any open areas. Sometimes I see people wearing very loosely fitted masks. So if your mask has a lot of spaces uh, where air can come from outside, it's actually not serving any purpose. Another myth that people have is that my, my school has installed air purifiers, so my children are safe. Again, a, a, a very, very common myth. Again, that's incorrect. 
Number one, your children are going in the early mornings from six six o'clock onwards. I see children on the street waiting for the school buses. So that air is very 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 dangerous. So second part is they're wearing they are using heavy bags. Now the heavy bags not only cause spinal problems but they also result in the compression of the lungs. So the breathing capacity of children actually reduces in, in children as well. Then when they go to the school, there are there are two or three kinds of schools right now. One is which don't have any form of air purification systems involved that is the most dangerous they're getting the air from the windows the second one is uh, who are who are using air from the corridors as well so what happens is they've installed the air purifiers but the moment the doors open because the doors are the schools have been designed in a way that the air comes from the corridors of the school the, and that air is immediately pollutes the, the room and then for next half an hour one hour the, the purifier tries to clean it up and the, before that somebody else opens the room so those, those purifiers are actually are not at all useful as well the third kind of installation which schools have is they recirculate they have air conditioning systems which are in, in enclosed buildings but they keep recirculating the same air again and again as a result the pollutions which which come on our clothes and the carbon dioxide in such schools goes up and causes sleepiness among schools that is why we have designed a school especially in gurgaon keeping thing, these things in mind our school starts at 9 a.m in the morning in winters when the pollution is high children should be indoors and only after eight o'clock when the sun is out children should be out traveling to school in the summers when the weather is nice we would want children to be outside in the playground in the park with the parents spending quality time and not being traveling in a bus to school or sitting in a classroom secondly we put we put in lockers for every child now schools tend to not use lockers because they want to optimize every inch of the school to accommodate maximum children but we have put in lockers because that the children don't have to carry heavy bags they only carry back what they require to study at home as well thirdly our all the air in the school is comes after treatment dehumidification and then enters the school building no air is taken directly from outside as well and then inside the school we have a separate air air purifier we realize that 30% of children in delhi ncr have bad lungs carrying a nebulizer is very very easy so that's why we've set up this school uh, keeping in mind the requirements of today's family it's the first of its kind we're setting it up in malibu town sector 47 um, gurgaon the school is starting classes from april 2020 and if you are interested you should call the number below another myth i'd like to break is that people feel the air pollution only impacts those who have respiratory problems that's incorrect according to a report 24% of deaths of heart diseases were due to air pollution 25% of deaths due to strokes were due to air pollution and 29% of respiratory cancers were ha happened due to air pollution as well so air pollution not only impacts the breathing and the co and, and coughs as well it's impacting our bodies every single day apart from that we should so that is why you should always keep yourself covered stay away from air pollution because it also impacts the skin so any exposed part of your body your eyes your uh, skin is getting impacted by by pollution so if you have to travel outside please just get yourself covered as well and the final myth that i want to break is people feel that exposing ourselves or our children to air pollution is is good because it builds resistance there is no such thing it has only harmful impacts there is no such thing as getting stronger because of exposure to uh, pollution there is no such thing it just makes your body weak more you expose the more weaker your body gets and as i said there are many many ailments that come at, at each day but because those ailments happen at a, at a later time due to different reason we don't connect it to air pollution so air pollution is something very very dangerous and i think i i have busted some of the myths that people have around air pollution so please share this video with your friends and family and keep them safe and be safe yourself thank you